Welcome to another Christy Crypto video. Hello guys, we are not going to make it. It has been brutal. We are all going to lose everything that we have put into this and that's what we knew. That's that's why we max out credit cards. That's why we take the gambles. That's why we work for our hard, hard earned money, put it all into crypto because we don't like it. We want to lose it, don't we? That's, that's why we do this. We like pain. We like not being able to sleep at night. We, like, we love the highs and lows. That's what we live for, <laughs> don't we? This is what we're in this for. And you, as you can see, this little yellow M up here is always got our backs. If we fall on hard times and we leave our jobs uh, because we think we've made it, but then we don't make it because things like the past month happen, then we can always fall back on these yellow arches, whether it's to comfort eat, or whether it's to stand there at the drive through and say, hello, can I take your order, please? What would you like? They've got us, so we're still going to make it, and the M is the most important thing. I'm working at McDonald's now, but um, yeah, it's been brutal. Hopefully, everyone's survived through this, but the space keeps moving. The main thing in this space is just surviving. Don't leverage trade, and uh, as long as you've got a nice little pile, like even a small pile can turn into quite a lot, and pff, do I think the top has, in, top has come in? I don't know. Do I think the top is in overall? No, obviously. When I'm in my 40s and I'm looking back and Bitcoin's trading at 2K and I'm fucking crying into a pillow. <laughs> and Bitcoin's being adopted in South American countries and Latin America and developing worlds and all this stuff, then we'll look back and be like, yes, we were part of a big change and a big revolution in... Um, in how the world works and with money and all that stuff um an update with me i'm still a virgin moon cat mugs the only nfts that i own really i own a couple of other crappy ones but speaking of nfts today i want to touch on this other nft project i'm just going to do it now quick wonder whales these are the wonder whales and uh, these are the social medias. I'll put a link down below. I just came across these. These are actually minting in February and I have more details soon. I'm gonna pick up one because throughout the first lockdown, I really got into whales and learning about whales. It was really, it was strange. And um, I really wanted to get a piece of ambergris and it's super expensive and it's super rare. It's rarer than gold and they use it in really expensive perfume and I got I just learned a lot about whales through that first lockdown <laughs> and uh, I just want to buy one of these, uh, mint one of these because of um, I became a big fan of whales. These guys are aiming to sort out the oceans and it's not the first project we've seen like linked to a charity to try and do good for the world but that's what they're going for. Uh, like I said, I've only just found it tonight but I think it would be cool if you own this, if you own this NFT you obviously can do good for the oceans restore coral reefs all that stuff save the whales but also but i think it would be cool if they like did whale trips for earning the nft there's gonna be 7777 of these whales and uh, i haven't looked at the team or anything like that but i just like whales okay so there i'm gonna stick one of these as my twitter profile picture and it's on cardano so there's gonna be a cardano nft that i buy so yeah come give these a follow if there's something that interests you and um yeah if you want to save the ocean basically if you don't buy this nft you're saying you want the sea to die and you want whales to fill up with plastic and, and you want birds to have canned stuff wrapped around their neck so they choke to death is what you're saying if you don't buy this whale nft basically so come follow them on twitter and join them in and join the whale gang All right, next up, I just want to talk about the battle of the dexes on Cardano. We've got Muesli Swap. I made my video on Muesli Swap the other day. Milk is the token of Muesli Swap. When I made my video, it was at 0.69 ADA. So just over half an ADA. Obviously made a joke about it being 69. 69. You get it. But um, now we're currently trading at um, 2.7 ADAs. And touching on free ADA, so um, it's done, it's performed pretty well. But I just want to say, Sunday Swap has launched, and obviously it had its problems. It wasn't smooth, it wasn't perfect, but you can now provide liquidity. There has been some real winners on Muesli Swap 
okay? And the main one that I'm talking about is Liquid. Everyone is hyped for this. When I made my video on this, Muesli Swap was trading at um, down at 11 ADA, between 11 and 17 ADA, I remember. It's at 70 ADA now. And I didn't buy this because I was like, oh, 1% was given out in a Discord airdrop. Well, that 1% of suppliers mooned it. Obviously, demand and supply, a lot of people know about Liquid and the hype for Liquid coming out. We should, well, hopefully the product should launch soon. And the utility for the LQ token is actually meant to come. I thought the utility is going to be for like countries and, well, places and people in Africa to leverage the LQ token to be able to take out uncollateralized loans, blah, 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 blah. I made a video on LQ like last year. But um, yeah, the hype is real. Is a tra trading at 78. If you want to go buy some uh, LQ tokens now, you're going to be paying 70 ADA for one token. So that's more than a whale, okay? What do you want? One LQ token or a fucking whale? I know what I want. But the reason why I'm coming over here is because if you go to Sunday Swap now, you can either swap. So trade your ADA for LQ tokens at the price of 72 ADA for one LQ token. Or you can provide liquidity. And let's say we're going to swap. So we're going to buy some, we're going to swap some ADA for LQ, okay? Where is the chart? Where is the chart? Like most DEXs, like Joe or Uniswap, have a chart. MusiSwap has a chart. I'm just surprised that Sunday Swap hasn't integrated some sort of chart somewhere on here. I mean, Pancake Swap doesn't really have a chart, but you can go to another site called Shit Coins or Poo Coins, and you can see the chart of the coin. I can the song help me because there's no I can't find any place to chart these new launched coins on Musi Swap, and there's so many coins launching on Cardano. A lot of them crap. But um, I think give it a couple months, let things play out a bit. By spring, we should be able to pick up some Cardano gems. But it's so early. Like, all of this stuff that's happening, I quite like Phantom a lot. But even Phantom's getting over, I think, overhyped. I think what's going to happen is there's going to be a Bitcoin run. And it's going to suck up altcoin value because I think everyone's starting to be like, okay, the ponzi nomics of things things getting shuffled around is going to start coming to an end and you just go over the safe bet which is bitcoin and i've seen it before in the last bull run when big daddy bitcoin starts moving up people just start selling their altcoins and it sends bitcoin up and up and up and up and then eventually people take profits from bitcoin into altcoins and then we start all over again for spring hopefully if if everything aligns but yeah well, I just want to end on saying, where the hell is the fucking charts on Sunday Swap? Or someone needs to make a website where we can see all these ADA coins charted that are on Muesli Swap and Sunday Swap. Okay, I still do like what's happening. We could have NFT marketplaces popping up. I should look at them. Oh, I'll look at them at some point. But lastly, I want to end on this. So I was just talking about people um, selling their altcoins for Bitcoin. Fixed Flow, this website, is a really good way for you to sell your altcoins and get Bitcoin sent to your wallet without using an exchange. So you literally just send Ethereum. So say if I want to swap um, Ethereum to Bitcoin and I've got like 10 Ethereum, uh, I'm going to swap for um, 0.65 Bitcoin. You paste your Bitcoin address here. And then and after this, it will take you to a page of where you send your Ethereum. You send your Ethereum to an address and then you, the Bitcoin will just appear in your wallet. It sounds shady, but it's not. It's a really permissionless way to be able to um, swap altcoins. And they have quite a lot of altcoins. Swap all these altcoins into Bitcoin without touching a centralized exchange and um, keep everything under wraps, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, it is a quick way to do it as well, which I quite like. So I've used this a few times. Um, I rate it. Uh, if you don't own a moon cat, what are you waiting for? Own a moon cat? Shh, fucking hell. If you don't have a moon cat by now, I think the price, they went up to about 1.3 ETH and now they're back down at 0.6 ETH. They just can't break out. But hopefully this game 
for the elites because that's what there's only 26,000 moon cats. If you want to be an elite moon cat holder, just hold one and you can look down at all peasants that don't have a moon cat, then go and buy yourself a moon cat mug and just because that's what you are. You're fucking mug if you buy a moon cat <laughs> and uh yeah that's all i got i'm gonna ramble on otherwise there's lots of cool stuff happening basically don't worry about this redness it might get redder it might get redder but like i said we're here for the pain this is why we love crypto we're here to feel something all right stay safe goodbye farewell farewell cheerio